It's the 17th of September, I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath and here are today's news headlines. The number of South Africans affected by the Nigeria church collapse remains unclear. MPs cause chaos in Parliament and Obama issues a global call to action over the Ebola outbreak. It's still not clear how many were injured in the building collapse in Nigeria that killed 67 South Africans. This according to the Department of International Relations this morning. International Relations spokesperson Clayson Monyela said the department would provide more information when the facts became clear. Now, in an address last night, President Jacob Zuma said 67 South Africans had died when the multi-story guest house belonging to the Synagogue Church of All Nations collapsed on Friday. Zuma said, this is a particularly difficult time for South Africa. Not in the recent history of our country have we had this large number of our people die in one incident outside the country. Parliament descended into chaos again yesterday as opposition parties tried to bring a motion of no confidence against Speaker Baleka Mbete. The debate got heated when MPs chose to name call and finger point rather than stick to their speeches. DA and EFF members were labelled losers and counter-revolutionaries, while others were called hypocrites. Eventually, opposition leaders left Parliament and ANC MPs were able to topple the motion of no confidence. The motion was led by DA parliamentary leader Musi Mai Mane, who argued that Baleka Mbete had a clear conflict of interest because she serves as chairperson of the ANC. And finally, President Barack Obama has issued a global call to action to fight West Africa's Ebola epidemic. He said the deadly outbreak was unprecedented and spiraling out of control. Speaking as he unveiled a major new U.S. initiative, which will see 3,000 U.S. military personnel deployed to West Africa to combat the growing health crisis, Obama said the outbreak was spreading exponentially. As well as the military deployment, the U.S. will also set up a command and control center in the capital of Liberia, which is the hardest hit country, and they'll also build new treatment centers and train health workers. Now, precise timing on the deployment is still unclear, but the Ebola epidemic has killed more than 2,400 people in Guinea, Liberia, Nigeria, and Sierra Leone this year. The virus can fell its victims within days, causing severe fever and muscle pain, weakness, vomiting and diarrhea, and in some cases shutting down organs and causing unstoppable bleeding. No licensed vaccine or treatment exists. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News24 Live, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.